Hey everyone, it's now time to talk noodles. Today we are going to make a fast and easy weeknight meal that is so good that you can develop cravings for it. With deep savory flavors to crunchy fresh flavors, this noodle dish covers them all. Zhajiang mian can literally be translated as fried sauce noodles. The ingredients are simple, but when combined together, they make a perfect bowl of noodles. Start by slicing the cucumber into thin strips, then mince two shallots and three cloves of garlic. Cut one block, approximately four ounces, of spiced dry tofu into quarter-inch cubes. Before heading to the stove, you need to measure out all of the ingredients, since the process can go fairly quickly. In one pound of ground pork, stir in two tablespoons of soy sauce and a stalk of minced scallions. In a bowl, place two tablespoons of dou ban jiang and two tablespoons of tian mian jiang. The dou ban jiang is made from fermented soybeans and broad beans, and the tian mian jiang is made from fermented soybeans and wheat flour that's sweetened. These two sauces are what provide the main source of flavor in this dish. We are also going to measure out a quarter cup of mirin, or rice wine, and a cup of water with a tablespoon of cornstarch. This is optional, but you might want some scrambled eggs on the side. Whisk the eggs, but don't season them here. We want to be able to cut these scrambled eggs into strips, so we're going to set our frying pan on high heat with a splash of oil. Just before the oil smokes, toss the eggs in. Immediately give the eggs a nudge in the middle, and you can even tilt the pan to make sure the eggs spread out evenly. Flip the eggs over as soon as you are able to. We don't want the eggs to color too much, but a few brown spots are fine. Take the eggs out and slice them into noodle-like strips. Now we can move on to the main attraction. In a wok or in a 12-inch skillet, heat 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil on high heat. When the oil shimmers, toss in the shallots and the garlic, and cook until very lightly browned. This browning begins to layer on the savory flavors with the inherent sweetness of the shallots. When the shallots and garlic are lightly browned, add the minced pork mixture to the pan. At this stage, we are only looking to slightly brown the pork. Browning the pork too much here may result in a mealy, pasty final mixture. When the pork looks about halfway cooked, add the mirin to the pan to deglaze the bottom. Let the mirin cook off for about a minute, then remove the pork and shallot mixture from the pan and set aside. Set the pan on medium heat and add another tablespoon of oil to the pan. The cooking vessel is already warm, so you can now add the dou ban jiang and tian mian jiang mixture to the pan. This is where the name of the dish comes from. We are going to fry this mixture for about 25 seconds. After the sauce has been fried, add in the pork mixture and the spiced dry tofu. Increase your heat to medium high and stir to evenly coat everything. After a minute of cooking, give the cornstarch and water mixture a stir, and add it to the pan. This is what's going to give the sauce the consistency needed to stick to the noodles. Follow by stirring in a teaspoon of sugar in the raw. Drop the heat down to medium-low and allow the mixture to continue to simmer as you boil the noodles. I'm using dried medium-width Sandong La Mian, which are Chinese wheat noodles, but use whichever style or brand you like. When the noodles are cooked, it's time to serve it up. Find the largest bowl you have and place the noodles in and ladle the sauce on top. Garnish with egg ribbons and cucumber strips. And that's it! In under 30 minutes, a bowl of authentic zhajiang mian. So feast your eyes and your stomach by subscribing to see more. And we will see you in the next one when it's time to eat again.